It has been six months since our last home remodeling update and we've made some major progress in the last few months. So today I'm going to show you guys all the details and also give you a sneak peek of our major 2022 project, which is finishing the basement. It's a huge project. We're adding bedrooms, office, kitchen, playroom, theater room, and most exciting for us, the home gym. Today's video is also in partnership with WW. One of the major things that we're focusing on the next year is self-care. It's been such a hectic first year postpartum and WW just launched their brand new personal points program that both Jeremy and I have signed up for. I'm going to give you more information later in the video, but all the details I also have down below in the description box. On that note, let's get started. So this was the dining room at our last update, and this is what it looks like now. The new pieces that came in were the dining table, the faux olive trees in the planters, the sconces, the motorized roller shades, and the drapery. We love eating here. I love how the space is coming together. The next items on my to-do list are a actual full set of dining chairs to match this larger table, maybe a console table for underneath those double windows to fill that space, a big rug to tie everything together, and then a mid-century modern chandelier. Nothing against this chandelier. This one came with the house, but I definitely want something to kind of fit with the mid-century aesthetic I've got going on and to also complement the sconces really well. Last thing I'll note before I leave this room is I love these motorized roller shades. I can control them all through this remote control individually or all together. They are essential for the super hot sun and providing filtered light throughout the day. We love eating here, congregating here. I'll let you guys know how this space pans out. For the biggest update, this is what our kitchen looked like when we closed on the house nine months ago. This is what it looked like six months ago at my last update, and this is what it looks like now. I wanna tell you guys, I did so many iterations of this kitchen design, and I hired Anna from her company, Anna Bode, to come in here and help me iron out all the details to get this kitchen into my dream kitchen. So huge shout out to her. I'll include her information down below. So for my last update, we just had the naked IKEA section cabinet boxes kind of placed. We had some temporary like butcher block remnants that we used as countertops. The first thing that happened was we actually installed the cabinet fronts. These cabinet fronts are custom IKEA fronts from a Canadian company called Kitsch. I love their selection in terms of colors and styles. On the outer perimeter, that grayish color is the color mist in their clean slab fronts. And then on the island, I have a mixture of beaded doors and slab style doors in this black color onyx. Last thing I'll say is a lot of you asked me questions on why I went with the IKEA system number one it was cost-effective two I love the organizational capabilities and I really wanted that modern full overlay look next big changes are the appliances due to COVID there were so many delays it took about like seven or eight months for some of these big major appliances to come in we literally could not even cook in our kitchen the range and vent hood that you see in that last update picture I actually sold those brand new to another buyer and then I waited for our Ilve range to arrive you guys this range is like the one of my dreams. It feels like a piece of art. It's like the heart of the kitchen. It's a mixture of modern and old world art and it really just sets the color tone that I wanted for the whole kitchen with this nice glossy black, these rich brass details and the knobs. It has like double ovens so you can do dinner and dessert at the same time. We've cooked cookies and bread at the same time and it also makes really good pizza. Right now we have the grill pan on there but you can take that off and interchange it with two other burner grills for a eight burner setup. Next big appliance is the fridge. This is a Gen Air fridge. It's a side-by-side -side singular unit that's built in so it's completely flush to the cabinetry and I ordered custom size panels from Kitsch to match the refrigerator to the cabinets all around it for a cohesive look. I'm obsessed with the black obsidian interior in this fridge, all the LED lighting. If you guys missed my refrigerator organizational tour, I'll link that food video for you guys down below and in the description box. So speaking about food, let's get back to the WW Personal Points program. So Jeremy and I just signed up and what we really love about it is that it's a 360 approach to wellness. So not just what you eat, but also your activity, your sleep, and your mindset goals. So in the past, I feel like we had a thousand different apps to track these things. Everything feels really inclusive and the app is so intuitive and easy to use. The cool thing about this plan is that even though we both signed up, no two plans are exactly the same. It's completely customized to like your favorite foods, your individual goals. So the first thing you're gonna do when you sign up is you're gonna enter the app. First thing you'll do is answer some questions 
questions from the personal points engine. Some of the questions they ask is like, how often do you enjoy eating vegetables? For me, some days. How often do you enjoy eating fruit? Most days. This question I think is one of my favorites, which is which of your favorite foods do you like to eat most days? I love beef, pork, and lamb, salty snacks, sweet snacks, refined grains, and also fast food. It's not really about calling certain foods off limits. It's about being very realistic with your lifestyle and what you actually enjoy to eat. So after you're done with your questions, it'll generate two different things, your daily point budget and also your zero point food list. So the personal points budget, you can spend it any which way you want to every day. Every single food has a designated personal points value. So you can kind of spend your personal points budget however you want. The goal is just to guide you to more nutritional foods and having like a daily mindfulness of your consumption is the way I like to think of it. Then the zero point food list is like, to me, the guiding light. This is a list of foods that you can eat in abundance. You don't have to worry about tracking it or measuring it. It's kind of like your go-to list. So really substantial things. My personal ones have brown rice and quinoa, fish and shellfish, chicken, non-starchy vegetables, eggs, and the app is really souped up, you guys. Depending on the membership you have, you have different resources from workouts, live coaching. They even have like a recipe generator based on what's in your fridge. So it's a really souped up app, 360 approach. If you guys are interested in trying or checking out the WW Personal Points program, I have a personal code, Miss EJ Louie, for $10 off your WW membership. I'll include all the information details for you guys down below in the description box. And then I have our Bosch dishwasher, which I believe I had last time in the update, but I did not have the panel on top of it. So here we have the Kitsch integrated panel. It looks seamless so that the dishwasher kind of disappears into the island. I absolutely love this dishwasher. It functions so well, and I love that top rack at the top. Then for the last two appliances down the hall, we have the beverage fridge from GE Monogram. I love that it's got the stainless steel and that brass knob on top to kind of tie in with the hardware. It's a great fridge that we use, our guests use, and I have no complaints about it. And then the last thing is the microwave drawer. It's kind of hidden away. Even though it's underneath the counter, you don't have to really squat down. The drawer is really easy to just drop things in and out. The panel is hidden, so you can get a really clean look from the outside. And yeah, overall, we've been enjoying it and use it every day. Moving on to hardware and plumbing fixtures, I got everything at the Ultra Design Center here in Denver. You guys, if you're renovating or remodeling and you live here, you have to go. So for our hardware, we have a mixture of knobs, pools and really thick appliance pools from a company called Colonial Bronze. These are like handmade, super high quality, made for life brass hardware. It somehow feels so heavy and substantial yet soft and ergonomic. I am obsessed and we got the perfect finish of brass that I was looking for called Antique Bronze. They have so many finishes and styles. And then for plumbing, we went with California faucets. I bought the main kitchen faucet and the pot filler together. It's the same burnished brass finish, which is a living finish. So this is gonna patina and kind of have an old world look over time, which I really like to break up all the modernness of my house. I love this faucet. It's a nice, simple, elegant look with a retractable pull down sprayer head. And I was able to customize the hand paddle to a matte black finish, making it more durable against water and also provides a nice contrast in color. And then the matching pot filler not only creates a beautiful statement on that backsplash slab, but it's a super useful tool for filling up your pots as you're cooking. And then that second faucet that you see, that little mini one, we just got that installed two weeks ago. That's actually the reverse osmosis drinking water. It sits underneath the cabinet and then we're able to dispense it from this little faucet. For the sink, we have a Blanco Siligrant 32 inch single basin sink. And I have the stainless steel rack on top to just kind of protect the bottom. Absolutely obsessed with this whole setup. And then let's move on to the countertops. This is the MSI Calicata Laza Quartz. I have it on the island as the base of our appliance garage. This is kind of like where we have our coffee bar station, the outer perimeter of the kitchen, and also an individual slab for the backsplash. You guys, I cannot tell you the endless amounts of marble-like quartz that I looked at throughout the entire year. This one was on back order for four months. I waited and I'm so glad I did because the off-white base with the brown and the gray veins just blend so well with the grayish color in the outer cabinets. Last but not least, Anna designed this big vent hood structure. We needed something to like visually connect and eat up all that space between the countertop and the 12 foot ceiling. There's cubby holes on each side to decorate or have seasonings and oils. I have some floating shelves that we'll be putting in there to divide it, but I think it provides a nice modern clean look, a nice cozy space when you're cooking. And for electrical details, we swapped out the outlet plates for these really cool ones from Legrand. They are pop out units that have three plugs on each side, super sleek and minimalist. It just gives a more elevated look. And the last
last things that I have on my to-do list here, I've got these two black squared off posts that I want to put at the edge of the island to kind of anchor that out. I have a big chandelier that's mid-century modern to match those sconces. Also looking for some new bar stools to match this area. I'm going to put these bar stools downstairs in the basement. And I'm considering adding a wood trim to the bottom of this vent hood structure just to break up all the white. But I'm still debating on that. I will have a formal kitchen tour when I'm done organizing and adding all those finishing touches. But I just want to say I love this kitchen so much. It was a labor of love. It's just gotten us cooking and enjoying so much family time. Then for the laundry room, this is what it looked like at the last update versus now. We now have full cabinets. These are also Ikea section cabinets, but with Ikea fronts. These are the matte white Axtad shaker fronts. I got some affordable geometric knob pools from Wayfair. And then the countertops are all quartz. This is a slab of Cambria Ports Rush quartz. It's got this beautiful statement veining with veins of black, navy, flecks of gold. It really ties in all of that matte black hardware. And then the sink is going to be also a Blanco sink, but it's an extra deep like utility sink. So useful with a baby and being located in the laundry room. The faucet also has an extendable hose, which is great for cleaning. And I got this off of Wayfair. Now for the washer and dryer. I love these units. These are the GE Vent Fresh washer and dryer set. It has this like huge auto fill bin where you can just dump all your detergent in and it just dispenses it for you. It also has that vent fresh system to keep things nice and aerated and not super moldy. I really love these and then that like nice cubby system really frames them in along with that waterfall of the quartz on the side. Next plans in this room, I've got vertical strip lap that's going to be in the entire space between the laundry room and the mud room. I also have a long clothing hanging bar that's going to suspend underneath those wall cabinets on the left and then I've got two floating shelves and a warm wood to the right side of those wall cabinets to fill that corner and then I've got a big hanging rack that I got from Ballard Designs for just hanging delicate items like my bras or certain baby clothes and last but not least a sneak peek at the basement project so up here we have this main wall that's going to connect a lot of the space together we're going to do a big kitchen here this is going to be a long row of cabinets with two columns that have like smaller size refrigerator and freezer units along with a nice long island down the middle then we have a main large guest bedroom i'm so sorry for all this stuff i've got family staying over we got things everywhere we're trying to get things cleaned up before construction anyway excited for this to be a serene spa-like getaway for guests and then we're actually going to do just one really simple bathroom for this whole basement this one will be a shower with some cubby holes on the side for storage a singular toilet and a double vanity that way two people can get ready at the same time very simple straightforward then we also have an office planned a lot of us work in the house so this office space will be outfitted with a nice big desk for people to focus get some work done but i'll also put a futon in there so it can easily be a second guest bedroom at a moment's notice and then we're most excited for the gym space the top of my wish list is definitely a rowing machine but if you guys have any other recommendations of good home gym equipment leave it down below in the comments i just want to have some mirrors up a tv so we can watch you know yoga or workout routines and then some nice padded gym flooring on the bottom i can't wait to see this plan unfold then we have this nice open flex space that will be a play area for my son i then wanted to do a nice dining table for games or puzzles mahjong just like where family gets together and it also provides like a nice separation or divider between the play space and also the theater room space it's kind of very open so i want kind of different zones happening here on the other side i want to do a big comfy sectional for people to veg out and watch movies i'm going to paint the wall that holds the tv pitch black to really emphasize that theater feel all right guys that does it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed all the updates and be sure to stay tuned for the future videos i'll have detailed tours of every single space once they're done and also give you guys updates throughout the basement remodel process i know a lot of you guys asked me to do that on instagram so i also have that promo code and all the details on the ww brand new personal points program in the description box i love you guys so much and catch you guys in the next video bye